Hello everyone and welcome back. Today let's discuss what is the real fee that you might encounter during your Bitsian life. So there is one estimate uh, or the upfront payment that is required that is posted on the Bitsad website, but that is not a very good idea of uh, what it would actually cost you. So I have done an in-depth calculation and I will be uh, tackling things like uh, what is the summer term fee, when do you need to pay the summer term fees and certain other things like that. So let's dive straight into it. First of all, let's just see uh, what has already been posted uh, on the BITS website. So let's go to the BITSAT, uh, bits, bitsadmission.com first degree and the fee structure. So here you see the fee structure for all the three campuses, the admission fee, first semester, all this. So what I want to basically note from here is that uh, this is the fee for this year, that's okay, but this is the important part. For these students, the semester term and admission fees will be revised upward every year, but will not increase beyond 15% each year. So your fee will increase up to 15%. And I don't think there is much uh, more to be there, uh, much more to be discussed here. Uh, the There is some information about the scholarships, but it is nowhere near perfect. So we'll wait for a better document on that uh, when we, uh, before discussing it. So coming back to the calculation part. Now um, we see that uh, the first calculation that I have done here is what will be the upfront payment that you will have to be ready with. So basically this all this the whole video will be useful for people who want to find out the feasibility uh, of studying in bits as well as what kind of loan options they might require so the first thing the first major payment that you will have to come up with is the upfront payment at the time of admission so at the time of admission almost uh, this is what it would cost you you would have to pay the admission fee the first semester admi uh, first semester tuition fee uh, the hostel fee, other mess, mess advance, all these advances, a caution deposit of 3000 bucks and making your total uh, upfront to be 2,55,700. So uh, this is the case for the upfront payment for both single and dual degrees. Now uh, the obviously the uh, fee structure for the single and dual degrees will be different. So let's discuss them one by one. So what I've done in this analysis is that um, I have, as we read in the official website, that the fee could be revised upwards of, uh, fee will be revised upwards, but up to 15%. So I have taken three cases. Uh, in the first case, the fee is revised upward by 5%. In the second one by 10% and in the third one by 15%. So we'll see that we'll get uh, with these three numbers we'll get a range between the maximum uh, uh, between the minimum and the maximum where the fee can vary so for the first year uh, now what i'm uh, what i'm calculating is the actual fee that you'll pay for the first year second year third year and fourth year and this includes all the upfront cost and everything so don't worry that this this 2.5 uh, is already included here so do not worry about that part uh, another thing is that the hostel fee I am taking for these calculations is for Pilani campus. I'll adjust it uh, later in the video for the other campuses. So for the first year, you will pay an admission fee, the two semester tuition fee, hostels, other advance and mess advance. So what you see in this uh, upfront calculation was the mess advance. But here I have not, I have taken it as different because this is not the mess advance, this is the actual cost that you will be facing in the uh, in your semesters for the mess. So where I've got these figures is from a friend's uh, actual payment slip which is here. So this is what a bit's uh, fee slip looks like. So there's some balance, there are some charges, there's a mess charge, there's uh, electricity charge, there's other charges. Um, so I've taken the sum of these numbers and uh, I've put it there as the uh, 19,000 bucks and these other charges also I have totaled up and uh, I have put it there. So in effect what that means is 
um the other charge is uh, com- according to the calculation in the salary slip uh, in the pay uh, in the fee slip it's coming out to be 13000 but it's close enough to the advance so i have not changed it but the mess fee um, the advance is 10000 but uh, we might end up paying somewhere around 19000 so i have adjusted for that uh, there is a caution deposit so for the first year uh, no mat- there is no hike obviously so the first year uh, fee will be 486000 uh, no matter what the fee percentage you assume next for the second year you won't have a lot of the unnecessary components but you will have a summer term fee for your ps1 ps1 is like an internship that you do in the summer and for that you will have to pay a summer term fees uh, which i have uh, put here and um, i i i am assuming that the summer term fee will be subject to the increase uh, because it is written uh, in the document that term fee and the semester fee uh, and the admission fee all these three will uh, have increase so for that summer term fee i have taken the increased cost by 5% 10% and 15% and accordingly i have calculated the second year total for the third year um, there is no extra charges just the first sem second sem fee hostel fees for both the semesters other charges for both the semesters and the mess fee for both the semesters in the fourth year again you will have a summer term fee uh, for ps2 rest all the things remain same by now the summer term fee would have increased by respectively 5% 10% or 15% into the number of years so that will be a compound interest so you can check out the formula here and i mean here uh, that it's uh, three times because the fourth year so it, uh, the compounding will happen three times and so the grand total for pilani campus comes out to these numbers and for goa and hyderabad campus the difference uh, in the mess amount is uh, 4400 Uh, for each semester and uh, th- this is just from the advance data so this might not no no this for the ad- hostel charges so hostel charges yeah so 4400 extra you have to pay per semester so uh, these will be the total for these campuses so all in all a pilani single degree would cost somewhere around 20 lakhs to 23 and a half lakhs and for goa and hyderabad a single degree would cost 50000 more on each side and there are some assumptions that i have made uh, in these calculations so please wait till the end uh, i'll get to the dual degrees now so in the dual degrees again the first year fee remains the same 486000 as uh, mentioned above the admission fee and the caution deposit are the extra things uh, the second year also remains primarily the same mostly the same uh, there is a summer term fee for ps1 but there's also the admission fee for your be degree so this is uh, something that not more most people know that you will be charged another uh, admission fee for taking t- adding on your be degree as part of your uh, msc dual so again i have uh, included the uh, increased price uh, like by 5% 10% per- 10% and 15% so that is what i have included here now going to the third year third year is pretty normal no extra charges just the semester tuition fees the hostel charges other charges mess charges everything is the same uh, and this increases again 5% 10% 15% then there is a fourth year fee and uh, this is again exactly like the third year fee no extra charges uh, in the fifth year you'll again be paying for a uh, summer term which is for your ps2 now and uh, again i have put the increased charges so here the compounding has happened four times because this is the fifth year and these are the totals you can see the grand total for pilani campus is mentioned here for the goa and hyderabad campus mentioned here so a total dual degree should cost between 26 lakhs and 31 lakhs in pilani and uh, 50000 more on each side in goa and hyderabad because of the higher hostel charges and there are some assumptions that i have made in this calculation uh the calculation assumes that the mess and hostel charges stay the same they might not uh, but they won't increase too much uh, so the main increase in the tuition fee and we have already included it in our calculation so that's not a problem the other thing is some very very minor charges uh, like 400 bucks 500 bucks per semester i've excluded so again that should not make a huge difference now there would be some other major expenses so for example uh, during a ps1 if you stay in a city other than your hometown you'll have to pay for the accommodation there uh, you will probably need to buy a new laptop um, you will have to work something out for the laundry and uh, there there are some fests for which you might need to spend some money if you join some club 
or department then they might have their own expenses so depending on your lifestyle and also how far you live from the college how often do you go home uh, according to all these factors i think you should factor in around 50000 to 2 lakh overall this you would know yourself uh, better like wh- how far you live from the college what are the charges for the flight so this is a very variable kind of thing what kind of laptop do you buy if you go for a very expensive laptop this number can shoot up so a very broad range is 50000 to 2 lakhs that i used to be there and i haven't uh, so if you notice in the fi- uh, fifth year of dual and the fourth year of single degrees there is uh, the hostel charges for one sem and the mess charges for one sem are zero this is because you will be outside you will be not on campus uh, there are you, if you do a thesis then you might be on campus but most likely you won't be and uh, generally ps2 students get a stipend and your accommodation and other expenses will most likely be covered by the stipend so if they are not again it falls within this number like 50k to 2 lakh overall so um, i think this is about it i will link this uh, spreadsheet in the description so that if you want to change some numbers and see how things change uh, you can play around with it for example if you want to calculate um, a, what happens in case of a 13% hike so all you have to do is go here and change this number to 13 and you will see automatically all the numbers will change and uh, the ranges uh, will not matter anymore like the previous ones so uh, for 13% if you want to check for 14% also i'll show you the numbers changing if you see uh you see the numbers have changed so uh, you can try this and uh, i i hope you uh, you have some good idea because of this so you can make a better informed choice about what kind of loans or how much loan you have to take and uh, how feasible it is for you and uh, i would like to also say that please don't be disheartened too much uh, this fees is a little bit high i understand but i will soon uh, make a video covering what are the scholarship options and that might help reduce this burden a significant bit so till then um, thank you for watching i'll see you next time oh yes and a special thanks to the viewer uh, to to the people who have contributed a lot to the making of this video rahul sharma Tulika Ganguly and Neeraj Mishra okay see you next time